thank you for joining me. We're at the North Weald and District Miniature Railway. So here we are, we've arrived at the North Weald and District Miniature Railway here in my larder, and I think a train is just arriving. There's already one in the station, and there's another diesel train just pulling in now. So we'll go for a ride on the railway in a minute. We'll just have a look at a couple of other things. So I wonder which one we'll go for a ride on. We've got their new ticket office here. It's the first day of their 2023 season. It's also my first miniature railway of 2023. So I'm really excited to come visit a railway which I hadn't been to before. So there's the two locos sat there. They've, they've got to turn them. They're both, as you can see, they're both facing the buffers. So I think the way they turn them is the train has to go out on a turning move before it comes back into the station and then it'll take us off on our ride. Now this railway is fairly new, it's only been here since 2019. It's at a garden centre, what's called the Harlow Garden Centre. It's about halfway between Harlow and North Weald. Over that way is North Weald Airfield. Now I've noticed there's a few planes taking off and landing. That? Oh, there goes the train, now let's watch this. The train is going off on a turning route. So it's departing the station, as you can see, reversing, no passengers on. And I think what will happen is it will disappear off around there. We should see it then heading forward and then it will reverse back into the station and then I'll go and buy a ticket and we'll go for a ride. So there it goes. This reminds me of the Fancott Miniature Railway, the Miniature Railway at a pub over near Luton. They do a similar operation there with their trains. So as you can see, he's reversing still. In a moment, we'll see the train running forwards and then backwards. So as I said, the railway's been here since 2019. It was at the Epping Ongar Railway at one point but not to the extent it is not the extensive track layout is now it ran up and down the platform at North Weald. I have been to the Epping Ongar Railway, that's another interesting place to visit. They're not actually running today but they're not too far. If that's North Weald Airfield over there, North Weald station is probably only a mile or mile and a half away from here. So that's potentially somewhere you could visit on one day. Now there's the train, can you just see over there? You can see the train is now heading forward. It's going to disappear behind those bushes and then in a moment the train will reverse into the station and um, it'll probably form the next departure because as you can see this one's sat here, the engine's off and it's not currently running. So this is a big picnic area here and the railway, I get the impression it goes off around there and uh, oh, I can just see the train, he's now heading that way but I think it's the shape of the return loop that he's, it's, it's kind of a, this shape. So it's, it's basically a triangle but a very kind of curvy triangle. Oh, there's something else moving over there. I can just see another train moving over there. Anyway, the train is now reversing into the station. So that will form the next passenger departure. So even before we've had a ride, it's been quite interesting watching how they operate when you don't. And um, sounds like this diesel loco is just starting up, so that's good. So we'll see both of those in action. So now look, you can just see the train is arriving at the station backwards with no passengers on. So, there, so it must mean there's a, effectively a railway within a railway that the passengers don't get to travel on. And there's, there's effectively a, what's called a scissors crossover over there, double slip, so trains must be able to arrive and depart from each platform. With a train back in, I'm going to go for a ride. Whether I'll get on this one, I might get on the next one, but it's time for me to go and buy my ticket and have a ride.
I enjoyed my ride on the train. There's an aeroplane just flying over. You might just be able to see that come out of Northfield Airfields. So it's quite nice if you like light aircraft. You see them coming in and out of the airfield, and you've of course got the train. The train I was on has just gone to turn, so I think in a moment it will come reversing into the station. There's a few people there waiting, so in fact, they're both the other one's just on the turning move. You just see the one which we saw do the turning move when we first got here, that's also doing the turning move. So that should mean there'll be two departures quite soon. So what I'm going to do, I thought I'll go and get some line side shots of the two trains in action. And then I'm probably going to go over to the garden centre and get a cup of tea. Where is the, the train? I'm expecting to see the other one reverse into the station anytime soon. The fact that both trains are out on turning moves says that we, we, we can be... There goes the station master. I think he's going to change a point or something. So as for the, the ride itself, the line, it takes you on a loop off around there. Now I've noticed there was a shortcut back to the station, so it could do an out and back, but of course it went off down a branch right down there. And then we saw the loco ran round. So it's quite an interesting complex of railways, and for a fairly new one, it's developed quite a lot. A, a friend of mine said that he came here one day when I think the Epiongo Railway had a bus rally and the bus came up and he said that he got on it and the ride was literally the turning move but that was when the railway was brand new so I think we probably can expect to see the train one of the trains reverse but I can hear it I can hear them so they're out somewhere so like I said the turning move is effectively a ride in itself and I get the impression that was the ride before they extended the line It's funny, I, I can hear, hear the engine, so I'm just being kept in suspense now as to when the train's going to come back. It's definitely, there we go, there we go. So I think that's probably the one I was on. Yeah, so that's the, the one I was on. So although it's a, a effectively a model of a diesel loco, it's powered by electricity, but it's got some nice sound effects as we heard on the ride. It's called Bowden. 
British Rail livery. Carriage number 207, so I think it's a bit of a fictitious loco, but I quite like it, the hidden sound of it. Right, so with the train now in the station and ready to depart, we're going for a little walk. So there's a couple of other things I can point out, nothing too exciting. This garden centre, regarding getting here, I'm not sure, as I said, that some of those buses come up here when they have um, bus rallies, but I would suggest it's probably a better one to drive to. It's kind of halfway between Harlow and North Weald. Of course, North Weald's on the Epilongo Railway. Look at that, there's a, a plinth loco up there. <laughs> Interesting. So I would suggest you're probably better off driving here. So you've got the whole garden centre complex over there, so it's quite a big site. I said I will, I'll probably go and have a cup of tea there when I finish making the video. Look, it's a, my car's not the only old classic car. There's a Mercedes, and that's quite a bit older than my car. So I'm, usually when I go somewhere in my larder, I'm about the oldest car in the car park, but not today. So we get to here, look, oh, there's a little sign there saying miniature railway. So the miniature railway's over there somewhere behind the trees. Now it was here I noticed a path. So I think you can go for a walk down here and go down this path. It says beware of trains. Let's have a look as soon as we come down here. Another thing I like, look, we come to a miniature foot crossing. So it does say stop, look, listen before we cross the line. And look, it's got little miniature miniature crossing warning lights. So there we are. You can see the, the railway. It's, it's actually up quite a hill here. So shame they're not running any steam because I think if they were, here would be a great place to see a steam engine working up the hill around the corner and then back down again. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait here and we'll watch the, the trains go past. So having watched both the trains on the loop part of the line, I've now made my way to the other end of the site. So the station's over there. This is the section which is a bit like a branch line. As I said, you can do like a loop and you could go straight back to the station, but the passenger trains come down here. Now I noticed when I was on it, they have a token. So only one train can come up here at a time, I understand. So from looking around, one of the trains, the D or the electric diesel, Bowden is down there with a passenger train and then the other one, the red diesel loco, is waiting to come back, is waiting for Bowden to clear this section because they can only have one train up here. I can just see some movement up there now, is that? That's Bowden, the diesel electric loco running around a train. She's down there, she's going to come back with the passenger train one way and then as soon as that train's passed, the token will be hung up, passed over to the red diesel loco, and then that one can make its way 
up the branch line. So we'll stand at this little spot here and we'll watch the action on the branch. So we've now seen both trains in action on the Woodland Holt branch. I think the loco is just running around, so that'll be heading back shortly. I'm almost tempted to walk over there and ask for a lift back, but I'm, I'm gonna walk back, I won't be too lazy, because the main station is only over there. There's this big field here, and then there's the garden centre. I don't know how obvious it is in the video, but you've kind of got the main station there. The railway basically heads off that way, and then I say you've got the branch down here to Woodland Holt. So I've really enjoyed it here today. First miniature railway of 2023. No doubt first of many miniature railways in 2023. So the Miniature Railway Britain series will continue as and when I can get to a miniature railway. Well, there's a lot more miniature railways I've still not been to. My first visit to this one today, and there's a lot of others I want to visit. Well, the, I'm visiting all of the miniature railways is the whole point of Miniature Railway Britain. So many more miniature railway videos to come in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this video. As I say, if you want to come and visit them, then have a look on their Facebook page, their website, it will have the running dates. So do come and visit them. It's very easy to get to. You might also just be able to hear the motorway. It's not and it too intrusive, the noise, but that line of coniferous trees, behind there is the M11. So it's basically one junction up the M11 from the M25. So it's, it's a very easy railway to get to by car. Um, I'm not so sure about the public transport, as I said. I know buses sometimes come up here when they have a bus rally. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the North Wheldon District, Miniature Railway, goodbye.